Well, here we are. The final bout of the Haringey 2015 Box Cup Finals. We've saved potentially the best until last. And, and here the crowd, the noise level's gone up. Everybody stayed for this one. Nothing quite like a grudge match or a grudge rematch in, uh, in boxing, John. No, absolutely. Reynolds, he's staring right at him, looks focused. Uh, Reynolds has got the beating of Thompson. Won in their only meeting last time around. And just wonder how much that will weigh on the mind of Thompson in the red corner. Thompson boxing out of jewellery quarter. Jordan Reynolds from Hoddesdon. Jordan Thompson looked terrific in qualifying for the final yesterday afternoon. And he had a rather static and much smaller opposite man and was just ultimately wearing him down like a human punch bag by the end and we sort of anticipated that this would be rather a more tactical and slightly tougher affair yep jordan thompson should have a trickier style for reynolds tall southpaw using his jab reynolds brings in a nice uppercut uppercut left hook combination well he started well jordan thompson Lead right hook. Thompson's blocking those on his gloves. But Reynolds had been cleverly throwing his right high, then re repeating a jab, but sending them right down to the body, and that's a heavy shot. Thompson takes it. Slamming in that left hook to the body. Thompson took it well. Reynolds will be looking to leave with that right hand. If he can get Thompson static enough to do so, there's the right hand. Doubles it up that time. And Thompson trying to manoeuvre himself into position. Reynolds not going to let him off the hook. Pins him into the corner. Bangs that left hook into the body off the back of a combination. Just both men wrestling with their lead hands. Or backhand, rather. It's good. Pinpoint accuracy from Jordan Reynolds. And that right hook from Thompson we saw earlier, probably more of a slap. You meant to land your shots with the knuckle part of the glove. And the sound of those punches snapping, but it's snapping some of those off the glove. And there's a key example. And Thompson lands a nice right hook lead to the body and then a short right hook off the back of it Reynolds responds with some nice short sharp uppercuts on the inside a little flurry there a good variety of work from both boxes and now it's Reynolds who decides to turn southport back to orthodox now as the bell for the end of the first round goes they just give each other a nod of acknowledgement they head back to that corner how did you see that one John I like the look of what Reynolds was doing, you know, to, uh, Thompson, he's taller, longer, he was throwing a few nice straight shots, but what Reynolds was doing well was bringing his punches up underneath him as uppercuts, and those, those sort of left hooks, he angles up at a 45 degree, at 45 degrees, digging them into Thompson's side, they'll slow him down, they might have an effect later, and, he, and Reynolds has been the one who's thrown to the body as well. And there is Jordan Reynolds. Psychologically, how important is it to know that you've had the beating of an opposite man before? It is. You know, it'll, it'll prey on the mind of the person who lost the first one. It's a sign that Reynolds already knows how to win. 
The only flip side is if you take someone lightly and they've had the chance to have a look at you and learn from their mistakes, you can turn it around. And there was a slip from Thompson. Just the left foot gave way underneath him, and that just gave Reynolds the opportunity to capitalise, move in behind the jab and unload with a flurry. Capitalising on every single opportunity, so, so important this particular bout for both men, both personally and in terms of the tournament prestige that it offers. And you've seen how many of the names. Oh, you see the referee there, a beady-eyed referee, to notice it. The uh, front foot of Reynolds was just treading on the front foot of Thompson. It looked to be delivered as well. The referee spotted it. As you said. I mean, that does often happen when you've got an orthodox boxer against a southpaw. Southpaw, un you know, untypically has his right foot in front. Well, I mean, untypically for boxers, that is. And so the two legs can tangle. Of course, if you're clever, every now and again, you can just tread on their toe, pin them there. I seem to recall Wham Wham Well Marquez every now and again doing that to Pacquiao. Well, that's one way to, to slow him down, probably the only way to slow him down, really. Solid work from Reynolds. Moves in, works with the body, gets out of range again. Good response from Thompson. Heating up nicely, this. Going to the latter part of the second round. Thompson leans in with that long left hand and misses. Both back to the centre of the ring. Thompson uses that lead jab just to worry at Reynolds. Was stopping coming in, but now Reynolds has got through, got into the inside. Not been able to connect too much with that attack. Nice lead jab from Jordan Thompson. That's Reynolds miss there, and then the two just clinch. Oh, that was good for Reynolds though. Just managed to back his man up onto the ropes on low with a flurry. Now bangs that right hand in. Most of it come off the shoulder. Great deal between them. You see why there is a rivalry. Very evenly matched and stylistically, as well as the levels in there. And uh, well, John, one round to go. How are you seeing this one? You know, it was close that second round. Reynolds might have edged it just on work rate alone. But there are flashes of quality from Thompson. So neither can go into the last round confident that they're ahead, I would say. So both going to have to make sure of things. So Jordan Reynolds there in the blue corner, and that's uh, Thompson on your screen. Don't be confused by the uh, the red shorts worn by Reynolds. He is in the blue corner. It's the gloves you're looking for. So Thompson, the red gloves. Reynolds with the blue gloves. Final round, this three-round encounter, and final round of the Harringay Box Cup 2015. Combination from Reynolds back and Thompson into the corner, but Thompson covers up well, moves off to his right hand side. Comes up with a combination of his own. He's boxing really well with his back to the ropes. And Reynolds continues to put relentless pressure on him. So when they're leaning on each other, it's not a great deal of holding. It's good work on the inside. Both trying to fight their way out of that clinch. And that was nice, faint with the lead right hand, then put the left on the back of it from Thompson. Straight to the body. Shot just whistled over when Reynolds is head there. And Reynolds 
He drills in those little shots, they're light, but he's the one working there. And he pushes Thompson back towards the ropes. He hasn't managed to trap him in the corner. And it's the accumulation and the volume of, of those shots rather than the individual ones landed themselves to do the damage and just suck the air out of the lungs, slow the legs down. That's what Reynolds is aiming for. Thompson still looks pretty fleet of foot. And that was a nice lead jab to the body from Jordan Thompson. And now Reynolds has caught him there with a, a nice left hook. It's another good combination from Thompson. Real ebb and flow to this final encounter. Not a great deal to pick between these two at all. Both have had their moments. Reynolds perhaps marginally in front here, but he wouldn't like to pick him. I just wonder if those final punches hitting the body then the head could they be the decisive ones that swing at Reynolds' way? And now both heads together, teeing off. Not really long to go now in this third and final round of both men willing to leave everything in the ring. And know that they haven't diminished their chances of a gold medal and both swinging away to the final bout. And that's really nice to see both embracing in the centre of the ring couldn't have given it any more and I think the crowd appreciates it as well absolutely they really really worked for that one a great bout great final round to finish the day absolutely and we'll momentarily have the decision for you I see Jordan Thompson posturing for the camera he believes he's got the decision it would even it up